I'm Clay Bavor, and I'm the VP of Virtual Reality at Google. Daydream is about enabling very high quality mobile VR. At the core of Daydream are what we call Daydream Ready Phones. And so we've actually worked with smartphone manufacturers to really understand what sensors and displays and processors you need to have to make a smartphone amazing for mobile virtual reality. And then we've been working with the Android team in as part of their newest release, Android N, to build what we call VR mode into the core of Android. We've also been working on building a very comfortable VR viewer, VR headset. And paired with that, we'll have a controller that is really powerful, really expressive, but also really intuitive, something that any normal person can pick up and immediately get how to use. And Daydream is really the experience across all of these things great phones, a comfortable VR viewer, and a controller that lets you take really high performance, really high quality mobile VR and have it with you anywhere. Across Google, teams have been making investments in VR. And so one of the biggest has been from the YouTube team. And they've been working on, from the ground up, envisioning what would the YouTube experience look like in VR. Just with the off-the-shelf cardboard and your smartphone, and the combination takes you into a very, very immersive experience. We're so proud of Cardboard, and Cardboard's going to stick around. You, know, you get a glimpse of a VR experience. Um, and of course, it, it is just made out of Cardboard, so it's extremely affordable. Daydream is something very different. We, we've focused uh, at maintaining a very high quality bar across the hardware, the viewer, the input device, and the experiences. What we announced at I.O. is really the core of the Daydream platform. Daydream itself, the experiences, the VR applications that we've been working on, like YouTube VR, Play Movies VR, and the first phones uh, and the viewer, that will all roll out in the fall. In time, you know, next year, year after that, our hope and our expectation is that really it, most smartphones that you're going to buy are going to be daydream ready. They're going to be able to not only be a great smartphone, but be the core of a really, really great mobile VR experience. That's where this goes.